Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi and today I wanted to discuss a very controversial topic and it's the dark side of pretty privilege. I often hear a lot of people talk about pretty privilege, but not a lot of people really put themselves out there to discuss the price you have to pay for being beautiful. So I actually saw this one YouTube video the other day that really gets into detail about the dark side of pretty privilege and I'm going to leave the link down below. I forgot the name of it but it really spoke to my soul and a lot of the struggles I've had since I was a kid and it inspired me to make this video today. Okay so I found the video. So the video is called The Dark Side of Beauty, The Price of Pretty privilege analyzing Molina featuring Angelina and Marilyn this is what it looks like I will have a link down below because when I saw this I just felt like I wasn't alone and yes I hear a lot of similar issues that I experience with other beautiful women but really seeing how this youtuber really analyzes the dark side of pretty privilege really healed a part of me and <laughs> I just want to make sure I highlight that video before we get started. Hey right, guys, so you already know before we get started, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Niobe underscore. I do post a lot of fashion and beauty on there. I'm also a full-time model aside from being a creator and also I do have a TikTok which I love. As of recently, I've been posting more videos of just topics and talking about things that I ex experience. Um, so make sure you follow me on there. It's at Niobe1Kenobi. Okay guys, so if you see me looking at my phone, it's because I have notes on there that I just wanna like make sure I highlight. Okay, so this is like a major, major dark side issue curse that I have had since I was younger and especially now that I'm older honestly for years now it's been so difficult for people for women in particular to enjoy being friends with me um, and I say them because I personally get along with a lot of people like I pretty much get along with everyone because I feel like I get along with myself. So I am very much a chameleon. I adapt very easily and it's kind of part of my career. I am a model. So I'm a people person. I love to be happy. I love to joke around. I like to make friends. I love to network. It's just a part of my career and just who I am. I am Latina so we tend to talk a lot. <laughs> so um, when it comes to friendships, um, I have learned and I just wanted to highlight that when it comes to friendships, it is super hard keeping a friend when you're beautiful because a lot of times women will not want to invite you out, um, whether it's to the club, whether it's out for dinner, whether it's to an event, whatever it is, any type of social settings, it's going to be really hard for any beautiful woman to get invited out especially by another group of women simply because of the way we look like personally from my experience i rarely get invited out um, when i do go out naturally a lot of people do gravitate towards me and then with my personality being very bubbly and very open and being very positive I just naturally am a people person and so um, I feel like with a lot of women being around me that can be very intimidating and or bothersome to them because maybe I have traits about myself other than being beautiful that they wish they had or wish they could work on or X, Y, and Z. So the only times I find myself really enjoying a friendship is when I'm with another woman who is positive, who is confident, who also sees herself as beautiful and um, doesn't see me as competition but as inspiration. However, side note, you do also want to get used to just being on your own, especially if you're beautiful because again, like 
people see you as competition and so you got to learn how to be your own best friend get a dog i have a dog <laughs> and she never lets me down she's never hating on me <laughs> A lot of beautiful women go through a lot of emotional trauma, especially regarding friendships, because of this. This is a super, super major point for myself um, and for you all to realize. No matter how kind you are, no matter how sweet, how humble, how quiet, how loud, how whatever, no matter what it is, no matter who you are, people will literally not like you simply because of the way you look. It doesn't matter if you are the kindest, sweetest person in the world. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Like people literally have already made assumptions and have already told themselves in their head that you are competition simply because of something you have, which is your beauty. So and it's something that you were blessed with so that's why i'm saying it's a blessing and a curse to be beautiful because a lot of people will see that and they'll want it and simply simply because you have something you were born with they don't like you for it so from my experience growing up and as i got older the best thing you can do for yourself as a woman who is beautiful is set heavy boundaries around you because i'm emphasizing on the boundaries part because people literally see you and want to romanticize you simply because of the way you look and you don't want the drama nor the possessiveness that comes with people like that so for example me i actually had a friend tell me that i walk around with a force field around me which i didn't know <laughs> was that dramatic but i'm grateful for it because i feel like i do avoid a lot of uncomfortable situations and so i tend to back up a little bit so that i'm not put in a weird uncomfortable position where someone romanticized me and became a little delusional in their head as to what kind of friendship work relationship we have and create a and create a negative traumatic situation simply because they didn't get what they want out of me so as a beautiful woman people tend to always want something from you and nine times out of ten is always sexual honestly i want to say like 9.9 .9 times out of ten okay so we've all have experienced this and have heard this one but being beautiful even at my age i'm in my mid late 20s and till this day women will literally try to bully me simply because of the way i look simply because of what i was born with and it sucks because i'm like i'm just being a light in a room and for some reason you're trying to cut off my light you're trying to bring darkness around me and bring darkness to my name like i'm doing something wrong but just being me we tend to experience a lot of just like bullying and a lot of people projecting their own insecurities onto us um and i feel like from my experience and the, the reason i am the way i am i'm extremely kind to people um, because I know at the end of the day, I know I have a blessing and I know that people just can't help themselves and they have things to work on. So I tend to always be the bigger person. And even though sometimes I feel like I do owe myself that space to check an individual or, you know, say what I have to say, I just find more peace within myself to just give it to God and pray about it. However, it's not fair it's not fair to be sometimes like a punching bag for people who are very insecure about the way they look or opportunities or whatever it is i can't help as a beautiful woman we cannot help what we were born with all right guys so obviously <laughs> we get a lot of options when it comes to dating um However, y'all ever heard the term more money, more problems? Yeah. <laughs> 
So dating men and having a lot of options when it comes to men doesn't necessarily mean a better experience, um, which is another reason why I'm actually not even on any online dating sites because I know I'm gonna go through like hundreds of people and a lot most of them just being attracted to the way I look and not necessarily wanting to get to know me so for maybe an average girl she may get let's say I don't know how online dating works but let's say she gets like 25 people reaching out to her that day interested in her I may get like close to 100 to 150, you know, and a lot of them are just going to be people who just want to objectify me or just see me as like something sexual because of the way I look. So also when it comes to dating, as I am becoming more wiser, it's easier for me to spot out when someone genuinely is interested in me and getting to know me and my personality and who I am versus someone who loves the way I look. For me, personally, it doesn't make sense to simply be around someone just because I like the way they look. Um, I don't have that much time on my hands. I feel like I got stuff to do and if that's all you bring to the table, I don't I I don't care to be around you. However, men are a little different. Um they will literally want to keep someone around simply because they look like a trophy. So this is definitely super annoying um but i feel like a lot of people stereotype beautiful women and they think that because we're beautiful what we do all day is just obsess over our looks and all we think about is our beauty and we're just laying around waiting for our millionaire billionaire husband to get home and that we don't have any type of intelligence and I have noticed it a few times especially being a model a lot of people stereotype models and think that we're just like all looks and no brain and me being someone who is does run a business I have always noticed that and it's disappointing it really is it shouldn't be Oh, because someone's beautiful, they lack intelligence because I'm very intelligent. Some of the most successful women I know are very gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video and I loved speaking out about such a controversial topic. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below as well as follow me on Instagram at Naibi underscore and stay tuned for the next one. And if you liked my jacket slash fit, I know you guys didn't really see my fit, but I'll have a picture over here or a video. Make sure you guys check out my Amazon storefront. I'll leave the link down below. Bye.